Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to learn about the register and registration controller. And obviously, as I promised you, we are going to change many fields inside this registration form. So as we have seen in the last episode in the login controller system, we have made many changes. Let's retrieve all the original things. So instead of this name, I want to go to login.blade.php and I want to change every name with password and obviously the name of this input field will be obviously the name which is password now go back click refresh and try to log in again with a new password and yep we are logged in again let's log out now we are going to understand the register controller in this episode for that just go to the register controller which is inside the app http controller auth and this is the registration controller okay for register controller you can see obviously it is given that when you successful logged in it will redirect you to the home page but if you want to land on the welcome page after registration remember this only after registration so let's try to register again with uh, the other gmail id oops now one two three four five six one two three four five six register and you can see we are on the welcome page but if we have said here at home that means after registration we will land on this page okay so let's log out again go to registration form okay so as we have seen here guest middleware is also provided here that means if we are guests then only we can go to this registration and obviously when we are logged in let's log in again okay oh oh it's gmail.com and yep when we are logged in and we are trying to go to the register page we cannot go to that register page because the middleware guest is here to protect us okay let's log out again on the registration form you can see the four field is given and these field are first validate by this validator function and you can see the validations are here obviously after this we are going to store the function so that means we are going to create a user for creating a user we have this system here this function create function which get all the information from this form and will register us now let's go to the command prompt and you can see the route is given by this php artisan route list so you can see here for registration the registration form is given by this function inside the register controller so let's see where is that so we have to go here inside this register users you can see show registration form as we have played with the login controller let's play with the register controller i am going to show login form with the register route so when we refresh this page we will get this page the login page so you can see I think you know all these things so we have successfully returned the view for the registration form next is that when we are going to submit this form this form will submit to this function by the post request oh there is this is post request okay okay so in this post request we are going to validate and we are going to validate with this function and that function is obviously inside this validator so here is validator which is inside our register controller we have seen here so this is going to validate everything and if validation is successful then it will create and you can see this create function is obviously came from this register controller as we have discussed so it will create a new user with the all the fields given so now you can see here it is all given that means it is mass assignment when you are going to take everything from the request and going to create something going to submit inside the table then you have to give the information inside your model that means the fillable fields 
so we are going to actually protect our fields by making it fillable so when i will use the mass assignment we have to use obviously this statement here okay so let's see what happened after the creation that means when the user is submitted then it will logged in obviously when the user is created the user is automatically logged in so let's try something let's unlogged in means we are not going to log in again so when we go to the chrome try to register so let's see this uh, password okay let's try to register and you can see the password is not match okay and now you can see we are on the login page why because when the registration is complete that means a user is created it will redirected you to where to home page but obviously we are not logged in so the home page will redirect you to the login controller because of the middleware inside the home controller which is here it is home controller and we have seen the auth middleware which is inside the kernel and this is the auth middleware which says that when the user is not logged in it will redirect you to the login page okay so let's close this things let's restart now we are going to make changes let's change something we are going to make the registration more powerful by adding new field so let's add a new field called last name so for that we have to go to our views register.blade.php and i will just copy all this thing of the name and instead of just name i will change everything with last name and obviously the name of the input field will be name not, not the last name okay now it's good let's check make a refresh and we have the last name it will be like this capital now it's good so obviously we are going to give the last name also but as we have make the changes here we have to make the change in our obviously in our table so for changing the table we can go to the database folder inside the migration you will find the create user which is here so inside this i will just add another field called last name and inside the register controller we have everything correct yes the name is last name so it will be last name okay so now what we have to do we have to just make this changes so we will roll back everything and make all these thing all these changes again for that we will go to the command prompt type php artisan artisan now migrate and refresh let's see what happened and yep every table is rolled back and created again and when you go to the database make a refresh you can see everything is gone but in your structure of the table you have the another field called last name okay so we have successfully made changes and remember one thing as we have on the level 5.4 if you have not used migration before this then you have to make changes in your provider that means inside your app service provider you have to type this and you have to import the schema also otherwise it will give you an error okay so let's go again where we are we have successfully changed the table we have successfully changed the view now we have to just register this information inside our database for that we know inside the register controller there is a validate obviously we have to validate the name so last name will be required so i will say just last and obviously we have to create user so i will give the last name as the last name and now i think we have completed everything but uh, one thing is remaining but before that let's go and try again the registration let's go i will say uncle my last name shwasta 
and the email email yeah email id migration is refreshed so this will be not inside our database let's try one two three four five six give it a refresh and now we have this error as i just told you the one thing is remaining and this is the one thing you will get the last name does not have a default value this error to recover this error you have to go to the user model inside the app folder and now you have to say here also last name obviously this is also a fillable field okay now go back make a refresh otherwise csrf field token mismatch so give it a name give it a surname or last name the bit fumes and register and yep we have registered successfully let's see inside our table yep we have the last name yeah we have completely changed the registration process the next thing what i want to do as we have the last name also we want to show the last name along with the first name also so for that we will go to the home.blade.php inside resources views and you can see this home.blade.php uh, but this page has extended layout.app uh, so here i will say if we are not guessed we have successfully logged in then we will show the name so instead of this name i will just make some changes so i will say with a space i will just say mm, last name also now go back click refresh and you can see the last name is also here Uncle Shrastha. now when we go and make this logout what happened let's see we have changes so we will close this now let's go to the login controller actually i have forgot one thing in the login controller let's see what i have left so inside here i will go to authenticate users and now go to the logout function where is the logout function yeah this is logout function so what it says it says it will log out every guard okay so it will log out every user everything you have in your session so now next thing is session flush that means each and every session has been created before this this will flush out all of the session that means each and every session will be gone and after that a new session will generate obviously when the new session is generated this will not match the user logged in so this will redirect you to the home page so when we click here the logout button we will go to the welcome page and this is the obviously the little thing but very important thing that how the logout function works so this function is for logout okay the last thing is as we have seen here the redirect to welcome page we can obviously change it anything and you can do i think i have told you everything how to make changes so we have seen many things here so i think you got the idea and i think you are going to like this video so if you have any doubt in this episode in any of my episode in anywhere of your project you can feel free to comment me i will always ready to respond you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and you can obviously message me on these platforms also don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe that is very important because we are on the authentication series and this series will blow your mind with the functionality i am going to show you so this video is for registration in the next video we are going to talk about the password reset systems so <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe for the updates share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of you know the best thing the laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then keep coding be happy goodbye